Moving on, we got a 2 p.m. game, and I, I like hitting some of these, you know, these, these smaller games are more interesting to me sometimes. Ball State is traveling to Eastern Michigan. This is an ESPN Plus game. It's 2 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, Eastern Michigan is a one-point underdog, and the total is 55 and a half. Eastern Michigan has played really, really well, and I think that this line is where it is almost because of laundry. Right, almost because everybody saw Ball State last year, and they don't see what they're doing this year. Ball State is not playing well at all. At just some of the metrics here, Ball State number one fifteen in EPA per play margin. They are number ninety nine in quality drive rate. Eastern Michigan is number seventy in EPA per play margin, and they are number forty eight in quality drive uh, ratio. Uh, this is. Uh, Every statistic says that this is a mismatch in favor of Eastern Michigan, and I'm catching points with them. So I am absolutely going to ride with Chris Creighton in that bunch. You know how much love I got for EMU. I'm I'm going to roll with Eastern Michigan to get the win outright at home, even as a one-point underdog. Yeah, I think that's the right play. Ball State hadn't been good at all. I bet on them a couple of times earlier this season. Then finally I looked back and felt they were like one and four, and I was like, what in the hell am I doing? Get off the team. This is terrible. So, they, they, I don't know what happened up there, but... They and San Jose State were both really, really good in the 2020 season, and I wonder if some of that was just like a, a crazy magical year during a COVID season uh, where everybody else was down and they were they just took advantage of it. But it's, it has been strange to see because they returned like all 22 starters. I mean, it was crazy. Like they, they really should have been better. And, and they just have not performed. Now, of course, watch them come out and win by two touchdowns here. But I, I will take Eastern Michigan in the spot. I think there's value. My line on it was actually uh, Eastern Michigan minus three. My buddy Parker, his line on it was actually Eastern Michigan minus like nine. So I'll, I'll take Eastern Michigan here uh, because I, I think they are going to play really well at home in this spot. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.